Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2011 Chevrolet Silverado LT. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of all the features on this truck, go over any uh, possible imperfections it might have here in this video. Starting off up front, you do have the uh, chrome grill that you get with the LTs. Uh, and the previous owner did put a little bit of a black, a black matte honeycomb behind that and also blacked out their bow tie. Gives the uh, front end a pretty cool offset with the white and the chrome as well as the black in the lower part of the bumper there. Uh, just a good look for the truck overall. Uh, you can see you do have the tow hooks as well as your integrated fog lights into the lower bumper there. Continuing around the side, do have a good looking alloy rim mounted up with a Mickey Thompson Baja tire there. Uh, got a the, uh, mud flap or a, whatever you want to call this, a lot of different names for that. Keeps uh, rocks and things like that from being thrown up onto the truck. A lot of times this area on trucks is pretty beat up. Uh, on this one there's a few minor chips, but it's really uh, overall in really good condition for the uh, year and miles. Continuing back, matching ribs and tires there in the back, 4x4 badging on the bedside. Once again, they did black out the bow tie in the back here. You can see your uh, flex fuel uh, badging there as well as the LT badge. Uh, flex fuel this gives you the capability to run the E85 ethanol in it. Uh, is a little cheaper typically at the pump than uh, other uh, fuel grades. Looking down low here, you can see a uh, hitch receiver as well as the uh, seven pin wiring for hooking up a trailer with uh, lights and brakes. On the inside of the bed, you do have a uh, dura liner drop in bed liner. Uh, these are also aftermarket uh, bed rail covers here. It just helps to uh, get things in and out over the bed without scratching up your bed sides. Once again, matching rims and tires. Just jump in here real quick. Uh, before we get in, I'd like to show you the, uh, does have a power seat base. So forward, backwards, up, down, tilt, uh, with a manually adjusting tilt and a manually adjusting lumbar support for the driver. Um, underneath these mats, there's a pretty good looking uh, rubber mat down there. They are hidden under the paper mats we put in just to protect the cleanliness of the truck. Over here on the uh, door, you do have your power windows, locks, and mirrors located in a standard fashion. Let's jump in here real quick. Fire it up. So the truck has 87,500 miles uh, roughly on it right now. Uh, so pretty decent miles on an 11. Uh, everything's been verified in good running order. Like all of our uh, vehicles here at All Things Automotive, if you look in the glove compartment, there will be a copy of the repair order as well as a copy of the check sheet. So if we look at this truck here, we can take a look and see. So they checked over everything, um, did an oil change with 5W30 oil, all the tires were 930 seconds, and then if you look down here in the brakes, they did put new front pads and rotors on here, so your front pads are uh, 14 bonded, which is uh, just the type of pad that's on there. Uh, rear pads are 7 bonded, which is a, still a pretty thick uh, level of pad. Uh, the state minimum, I believe, is 2. Um, don't quote me on that, but I know that seven is well in excess, and like I said, the front rotors and pads are brand new on the truck. Um, so mechanically, everything's in good working order there. It is also eligible to be covered by Drive Forever powertrain warranty that we offer here at All Things Automotive. You can ask about that in the finance office. Some of the other features here, you do have your uh, transfer case items here. It is a two-speed transfer case with four high and four low. Uh, coming over here, have dual zone climate control for both yourself and the passenger. Two different uh, plugs here. You do have your 12 volt power supply as well as the USB down here. Pretty standard radio controls up here. Uh, do have AM, FM uh, radio as well as the option to add XM to the truck. Looking up at the mirror, zoom in a little bit. See if the truck is OnStar capable does have the uh, satellite calling feature as well as the uh, OnStar advisors and the SOS feature for the truck. Cruise control uh, and Bluetooth control is located in a pretty standard fashion. There's also a steering wheel mounted volume control uh, for the driver for the radio. So that uh, goes over most of the standard controls that the truck has. It is the uh, Chevrolet extended cab style that they made in these years which is the clamshell doors. Uh, with a uh, excuse me, a flip up front console, so the truck does have capacity for six passengers. All right, the million dollar question everybody wants to know in a video uh, on a 2011 truck from Pennsylvania is what's the frame look like? So I'm gonna get down here on the ground. 
give you a quick uh, look at the frame. Um, it is not perfect, um, but it is pretty darn clean. Um, there's not, uh, I mean, there's cosmetic rust, obviously, you can see that uh, on the rails, but there's nothing serious at all. It's all a uh, pretty clean looking frame for 2011 from Pennsylvania. Um, and the other thing people want to know about is how the rockers look. So we'll get down here and take a look there. You can see that these rockers don't have any split edges. There's no, uh, there's no rust. They're not splitting apart um, like a lot of the trucks you see around here. So overall, a really clean truck, nice frame underneath it. A lot of uh, good features on the inside as well as the outside has a nice sharp look to it. If you'd like to take it for a test drive, you can stop out and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McCallsburg. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.